Hi, my name is Joanna Kabuti. I'm from Montreal, Canada, and I'll begin by speaking a little bit about myself. I'm a highly motivated person. I always try to do the best that I can in whatever I'm doing. In terms of this project, that will mean I will do more than the bare minimum that is asked of me, and I'll try to make a real impact on the project. I'm also a team player. I've played on sports teams my entire life, so I know what it takes to work with others, which is always an important part of any volunteering project since I will not be working on my own. Uh, I have a tendency to be shy when I'm in new surroundings or when I meet new people, but I feel like after a couple of days of working on this project, I will break out of my shell, and hopefully this experience will help me better myself and help me overcome this shyness that I have. I can also tend to be a bit controlling and be a perfectionist, so I often want to watch over everything and assure everything's perfect. This can make activities less enjoyable for others, but it's something I'm actively working on to improve. My motivation in applying to this project was to try to make an impact on other people's lives. It's easy to get caught up in the day-to-day -day grind of school and work and only think of yourself. So for me, this is an, ex um, an exceptional opportunity to step back and take a step back from this hectic lifestyle and make a real difference in someone else's life. Also, I'd be lying if I said that I wouldn't love to come to Italy. I'm of Italian heritage and loved, I would love to see the homeland of my grandparents and learn a bit about my own heritage and about my own culture. Uh, I believe I'm suitable for this project because of my extensive experience in uh, working with children. I've been a tutor for high school and primary school students for over four years now, and I've coached uh, boys soccer teams for a while as well. So I know what it takes to work with children and have acquired the experience and patience to keep on teaching them. Aussi, je parle très bien français, car je suis né à Montréal, une ville qui est bilingue. En plus de ça, c'est une ville extrêmement multiculturelle, ce qui me donne beaucoup d'expériences en culture qui ne sont pas le mien. Some of the activities that I'd like to implement, one of them would be a mind game where the teacher or instructor would write down um, some activities on the paper. This team, the class would be split into two teams, and one volunteer from each team would step up and read from uh, the paper they would have to act out or mime up this activity and the rest of their teammates would have to guess what they're doing all, of course all in french this is a fun little activity that builds a little competition and it's a fun way to practice vocabulary and to learn new words another simple but effective way in demonstrating differences and similarities between people would be a game where two students stand back to back in the middle of the classroom the rest of the class has to shout out or say things that make these two people different every time something is said that makes them different they take a step away from each other at a certain point they turn back around and look at each other and now the class would have to say things that make them that they have in common and they take a step towards each other this is this will show in a clear and obvious manner that no matter what differences we have as people we always have a lot in common as well uh, i got in touch with isaac by a student at my school that is a part of isaac they had told me about it and I was immediately interested. I've always been interested in traveling and volunteering my time to, to make a difference. Uh, I don't see any scenario where I would want to leave the project other than if someone or there would be some type of emergency back at home that would force me to leave. Um, thank you for watching my video.